Hello Church, Pastor Steve here for our Monday Minute for December the 21st of 2020. We've got a few announcements that I want to share with you today before we get to our devotion for this morning. First of all, don't forget to RSVP for our 11 p.m. Christmas Eve service coming up this Thursday. That's going to be outdoors in the Memorial Garden. In following of the uh, governor's orders, we are limiting that to a capacity of 50. So we are taking the RSVPs for that. Also a reminder that uh, masks do need to be worn. We are going to have some warming stations there in the Memorial Garden as well. As of this time, we've got uh, 15 spots approximately open for that service. So uh, if you do plan on attending, please be sure to check that out on our website or our social media where you can sign up. If you're on your, our email list, you also have a link for that as well. So please do take a look at that. Most of you will probably join us for our 7 p.m. Uh, candlelight Christmas Eve service that is going to be taking place on Facebook Live. We invite you to join us for that, and uh, we look forward to seeing you, however it is, this coming Thursday as we celebrate the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ once again, and we do so in a safe way. Also, as I said yesterday, we are needing a strong push to help us finish 2020 in a financially sound state and also be sure to pay our proper apportionment or ministry shares for the United Methodist Church. We've set a very ambitious goal of $65,000 for this month, and we do have some work to do in order to make that happen in these next couple of weeks. So as you consider your Christmas offering, let's do the best that we can to keep our ministries going. Also, if you have not yet turned in your pledge card for uh, 2021, there is still time to do so. These can be printed out and can uh, be mailed back to us at the church by downloading it from our webpage, or you can simply fill that out online after you download it, and you can email it back to our financial secretary with the links that are on our stewardship page there as well under our giving tab. We are uh, still in need of several pledges, and if uh, you are working towards tithing, please consider taking that next step in our stewardship. And if you are, are a tither, please consider taking that next step towards extravagant generosity as we seek to continue and to strengthen our ministries for the year to come. Today is uh, also a reminder that we are in the last week of Advent. And this Thursday, we'll celebrate the birth of Christ once again, but we're doing so in a very different way. Many people are longing to be together, and I understand that, and I'm longing too. Yet, I believe also that God wants us to be safe, and God wants us to be healthy. The birth of Christ to our Lord should not be the reason for someone to get sick or potentially even lose their life. We have lost way too much already this year, and we have lost way too many people. Instead, let's mark this occasion with the hope and the love that was made real at Christmas, but wasn't fully realized until later. Today is the day of the winter solstice, the first day of winter, and astronomers have said that we'll be able to see something that humanity has not experienced in 800 years. The planets Jupiter and Saturn will come into alignment in our night sky, and they're going to appear uh, as one bright star, brighter than anything that we have seen. Now, it's speculated by some that this was the same type of event, the star that the Magi saw in the sky at the birth of Christ. It truly is a monumental event, no matter what, for us to be able to see, and a great reminder of how the heavens and the earth come together to show us the greatness and the vastness of God's creation in the universe. Yet, in typical 2020 fashion, here at least in southeast Michigan anyway, the weather is predicted to be overcast with an 80% chance of snow. So there you go. If we do see it, it will have to be on the internet or on TV from someplace else. But then again, who knows, maybe by this evening things will clear up and we will get lucky. But here's the thing. Whether we actually see it or we don't see it for ourselves, that doesn't change the fact that it's there. Even though this light might be concealed, we can rely on others 
who can see it and to tell us about it and to show us what it was. That's part of what we do as people of faith. Did you see this? You gotta see this. Let me tell you about this. That's what we're doing as people of faith this week. Remember that the birth of Christ was so a somewhat understated affair. We have made it into something glorious, but even through those revelations to Mary and to Joseph, on the night it was only the shepherds who had it revealed to them. And they came and they saw. And they were the ones that had to show others what they saw. In the same way as the Magi came following that star, not knowing exactly where it would lead them to, but they trusted that it would bring them to a newborn king. Even though we can't be together right now and see each other the way that we want to, we trust in the story that has been given to us. We trust in the light that was revealed in years gone by and passed down to us, that no matter where we are, Christmas still comes. Jesus is born no matter what. Our celebrations might be a little more subdued this year, and I know watching candlelight service online is not the same thing as being together in person. It's not for me, it's not for you, it's not for anyone. But because the light of the world has already come, we can look back on the light that we shared together in times past. And we can use that for the present. And we can work toward a hope-filled future for when we can get past this and we all can be together again. Because even though we cannot see it, that star, that light will shine bright in the sky tonight. And that star that shone over 2,000 years ago, we know because of that, Christ has been born. We can share in that light and it will pierce the darkness and it will let it shine greatly for all the world to see by doing our part to love our neighbors as ourselves and to stay safe. So as we celebrate this week, I hope we continue to be safe and to know that no matter how we do it this year, we are still ones who follow the newborn Christ. And we know that hope was born and love came down on that Christmas night. And it is that hope and that love that will sustain us this week, through the rest of this year, and into the year to come, as we have that hope for being together again very soon. So I hope you all do have a Merry Christmas in whatever way that you celebrate. And I hope to see all of you again very soon. Whether you're joining together in worship for Thursday online or if you're coming in the evening or in any other way, be safe, be blessed, have a Merry Christmas. And as we are doing so safely, we know that next year we'll be able to be back to celebrate the birth of our Lord once again, to lift our lights and our candles high, and to show all of the world what our resilience and our faith has brought us through. Be safe, Merry Christmas, and Happy New Year, and we'll see you again in 2021.